Hey YouTube, this is my first tutorial on how to create your own custom weapons in Fallout 3 for the PC. First things you're going to need a little program here called NIFScope that will let you create the meshes. I'm not entirely sure where you download it from, I've completely forgot myself, but if you Google it, it will come straight up, so it's not hard to find. The second program you'll need is Fallout Mod Manager, which uh, again just Google it and you'll be able to find it straight away. And the Garden of Eden Creation Kit, which you can download from the Bethsoft website, which is basically Bethesda's download website. So again, go if you can't find that, Google it and it'll come straight up. Okay, so you basically want to start opening Fallout Mod Manager or FOM, if you want to call it that. Go into Tools and BSA Unpacker. Then we'll say Open and you'll be put straight into Program Files, there's the Softworks, Fallout B, and then Data. You scroll along. Till you find fallout hyphen message uh, meshes. We'll click that and click open and say extract all and then choose where you want to extract them to. So for me I just made a folder called fallout free meshes and put it all in there. Which I've already done so I don't really want to do it again but just to show you where to put it. Once you've done that, it will take a few minutes to transfer all, but once you've done all that, it should be all transferred into that one folder you've put it into. So then, you've got all the meshes from the original game. You can get add-on meshes like Mothership Data or Point Lookout or Operation Anchorage or anything like that by doing that again, but instead opening the anchorage file and then selecting meshes and so on so now that you've got that you want to open NIFScope in two windows okay. in the first window you've got to make sure that if you can find it completely forgotten what it's in now Damn it. I can't remember where it's actually in right now. Uh, there it is. So right click this window, say stripify all tri, tri strips, tri shapes, strips, whatever. Just make sure you click that because that will make things a lot easier. Um, I think that's the only real thing you have to do straight off. Then I'll load your base weapon. Because all weapons start with a base to kind of modify and add things onto. Let's go into weapons. And say for this tutorial, just go into two hand rifle and click laser rifle and you'll have this laser rifle from the original game loaded straight up for controls it's just click left click move around WASD to move the screen uh, left click to just do stuff like that click left click uh, right click to do stuff like that and left click to just select it You'll also notice that everything's came out in kind of a tree diagram on the right. Now, what you'll find is when you first open this, there will be no texture to it at all, which is basically what makes it look like it does. It will just be a blank white outline of it. So what you want to do is go File, find it, Resource Files, and then check Automatic Selection. 
If you don't do that, it will be a white outline, be very hard to work with. So setting it to that makes all the textures load up and just makes everything so much easier. Now, first thing you want to do to change this around is what we're going to try to make is a laser RCW. We, I know this one in New Vegas, but it's first thing that could come to mind that would fit all the tutorial needs. So, what well, first want to do is we're going to add drum and a mag to the top of this. Easy way to do that. Just open up another NIF scope and load the combat shotgun. You then want to click on the drum, open it up, so you've got its data, PP lighting properties and material properties. So I have them side by side. I'll click this one's mag, right click, copy branch, right click the node it's inside, paste branch. So you've now got an exact copy of what you started with. Open that up, click on its data, right click drum mag's data, lock, copy not copy branch, just copy go to this side lock paste over so you've now got the drum mag with a really weird texture so then you want to open lighting properties the shading shader texture set and then do the same to this side double click copy double click paste same again with the second texture and they have it transferred over okay it's obviously not in the place we want it to be so I just open up product the finished product just check that because I really cannot be bothered searching around and finding the exact thing when I've already done it because it did take me forever to find the right coordinates because I don't know what it is but the laser rifle just wants to be awkward so put the x axis on 1 y on 2 z on 4 then for rotation put P on minus 40 and that's it then put scale at 0.75 and there you've got the base of the kind of drum mag we're going to put on the top if you want to see how the reload animation works drag this little slider it enacts the reload animation so you can see exactly how it's going to look now it's crucial you did paste that into that node not the first node because it only works with the reload if you put it in that node put it in that node it won't work it will just simply float there as everything else moves in motion Okay. Then to do the same as last time, but you've already got one here, so just copy branch, paste branch. Now I've got another micro fusion cell. I'm just gonna find it in here again. I can't be bothered doing the coordinates when I've already got them. So we want four. Point nine and three. Then you want minus forty at the p-axis and minus ninety at the r-axis. And there you've got your first microfusion cell. 
placed into the drum mag. Again, that will work fine with the reload animation. Now, that first microfusion cell, we're going to retexture so it looks like it's just a clip holding that in place. I'll teach you how to retexture in the next video, the next tutorial video. This is just for getting the meshes in the right place. Then we'll move on to texturing, then projectile retextures, and then finally putting it into the actual game itself. So, just basically keep doing this, copy branch, paste branch, and move it around until you've got it into the exact place you want, like so. There. Basically you want to paste free of these microfusion cells into the drum mag. So copy another one, put in the coordinates, which are 1.75, 2.9, and 1. And there we go. So you've now got all cell, three cells in the drum mag. Now that we've got the magazine completely animated and fixed in, you want to now. It's unnecessary, but it does make it look a bit different. When I add these three little pipes here to the front of the gun. Now to find those, we're going to have to go into our second mix scope again, load, and find the plasma rifle file. Open that up. There we go. We're working plasma rifle. Select one of these pipes. Doesn't matter which one it is, just one of them. Then select either that piece. Or that piece again, it doesn't matter. Say lock copy branch and click base node lock paste branch. Open it up and just the same as last time. Copy across tri strips data. Open up the textures, and copy textures. This one might take a bit longer because it's four textures rather than just two. But it's the same principle, you just copy, double click, copy, double click, paste. Just make sure they go into the right places. I'm not 100% sure if it makes a difference but I've always done that so I don't see any point why not to. Here we go. So just look around and find it. It'll be around here somewhere. There it is. There's a the new pipe we've just inserted. And just find coordinates for it then. If the first one we want to be twenty eight point eight nine nine six two point zero and four point five. Then we want for rotation. First one, minus 10, second 20, and the last one at minus 110. 
So that's now at the right position at the muzzle of the gun. Now the same as the energy cells, just lock, copy branch, lock, paste branch, move it into place. One twenty eight, same again. Two, same again. Instead, that needs to be seven. Then lock, copy branch, lock, paste branch. Same again, just move it into the new position, which is five point seven five. Minus two and twenty-eight. And there you go. That's the initial kind of mesh finished. So you've now got a basic thing to your RCW. Um, feel feel free if you want to not follow this design and just create your own weapon and just use what I'm telling now to create your own because that's what I did when I started but next video teach you how to retexture that one cell so that it fits in and then teach you the rest about changing the projectile colour and loading it into the actual game thanks for watching this has been a Fallout 3 mesh making tutorial see you later